Google Home app displays an error on adding smart home devices. The error message says, could not reach to several users, as per a report. According to 9to5Google, many users are not able to add new devices to the Google Home app. This is preventing the process from finishing. The Home application helps the users to manage Google-owned products such as Nest Cam and Nest Thermostat along with many other third-party devices made by different companies. Usually, the process of adding a device needs linking an account with another service. Though, at the moment this process seems to be broken. To recall, the technology giant has also brought in a new feature for its Chrome users. After going through a testing period in October, Google has made available passkeys for Chrome users this week. Passkeys are a significantly safer replacement for passwords and other fishable authentication factors. Passwords are typically the first line of defense in our digital lives. However, they are at risk of being fished, leaked in data breaches, and even suffering poor password hygiene. Google has long recognized these issues, which is why Google created defenses like two-step verification and Google Password Manager. But to address security threats, the company decided to move towards passwordless authentication. This is where passkeys come in. Passkeys cannot be reused, don't leak in server breaches, and protect users from phishing attacks. Passkeys are built on industry standards, can work across different operating systems and browser ecosystems, and can be used with both websites and apps. One can use passkeys to sign into sites and apps that support them. Signing in with a passkey will require you to authenticate yourself in the same way that you unlock a device. At present, Chrome has enabled passkeys on Windows 11, Mac OS, and Android. On Android, passkeys will be securely synced through Google Password Manager or, in future versions of Android, any other password manager that supports passkeys. Once you have a passkey saved on your device it can show up in autofill when you're signing in to help you be more secure. Topics Google